Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you guys how to use free accounting software. So, um, there's going to be a lot of videos. This is one of the earlier ones, and it, I've just uh, set up the business and created a few counterparties. So, what I'm going to do now is enter uh, the first transaction. So, going to the sales worksheet, um, which is where you'd go to enter all your sales um, and when I go to that page it, it lists um, any transactions it defaults to the um, current month so um, if you have transactions entered and you want to see earlier ones you might need to you know change this um, date um, to an earlier date and then you can click update um, in this case it doesn't matter I haven't entered any transactions at all yet um, at the top here is this um, link to a new transaction so I'm going to click that to enter a new sale okay it defaults to transaction type sales invoice um, there can be a credit or you could enter cash receive which you know is pretty much uh, the same as the sales invoice with these locally stored files um, in free accounting software if you have I mean this is one of the differences between a um, locally stored file and a um, hosted file if you have a hosted file um, you can do this a separate sales invoice and then enter cash received and allocate that cash against that sales invoice and you can track your outstanding um, accounts receivable um, which is an advantage of the hosted um, version for some people though it's easier um, to not bother with that you know you might have a fairly simple business and you don't need to track your accounts receivable anyway um, I'm going to choose sales invoice um, today is the 17th of June so why don't I pick that date and then um, and then I'm going to select the customer so you might have a very long list of counterparties um, in these select boxes um, you can type a little bit of the um, counterparty's name and that filters to that counterparty so if I delete um, what I've typed it shows me them all if I just start typing the name then it will prompt me with matching selections you do have to actually click on the um, option or if you press the down arrow um, and enter it will select that so you can't just type a customer you actually have to select an option from the list um, okay giving it a comment um, these kinds of boxes um, can actually um, have more lines if you keep typing um, you can add as much as you like I'm going to make it just 110 for the purpose of um, this example this is another um, autocomplete select box so I've just typed a little bit and now selecting the account the tax code has defaulted um, so a lot of these accounts have a default tax code so it just saves you selecting it um, this is defaulted to GST taxable sale you do want to be careful with purchases in particular um, that you are selecting the correct tax code um, and because it is a taxable sale the tax amount is calculating to one eleventh. So the amount here 
is always the amount that you are paying or receiving okay I don't want to say it's the GST inclusive amount um, because sometimes it's not applicable for GST um, and there's payroll things as well but the amount is always the amount that you're paying or receiving sometimes I get a query can we make it so you can enter the GST exclusive amount and have it add um, GST and I think it'd be confusing if there was alternatives on how to enter things like that um, so this is a transaction where you're charging a hundred dollars plus GST of $10 You can type a description on the line comment as well and again that box can be expanded if you need more space. Um, another thing I want to point out is that this is the header of the transaction and this is transaction line, it says transaction line there. You can have multiple lines so there's a button here to click add line and I'll just click that and we can put another line and I'll actually pick the same account sales revenue and this allows us to itemize the invoice Okay, I I've just clicked the save and it confirms in green that the transaction was saved. There can be instances where it has an error, for example if you didn't select something then it might prompt you to fix that. You can click this transaction PDF and uh, just save that. and it creates a tax invoice for you. That's There's a little bit that can be done to put your logo and things like that there and I'll actually cover that in a separate video. In fact I think there already is a video on how to do that. Um, again it's a slight difference between the hosted files and the um, locally stored files where the hosted one has a few more customizations but then again is, is a little bit more trickier as well okay so um, I don't want to cover too much in this um, in these individual videos but I will quickly mention something on the purchases side of these transactions um, so there is this other purchases worksheet. Uh, perhaps this looks a little bit strange because I've got a home office expenses worksheet and an other purchases worksheet. Um, I intend to add more worksheets for different kinds of purchases. Um, for example, motor vehicle purchases and um, um, internet, telephone, and the co like maybe personal services income and things like this and the common things that um, that would be helpful to micro business owners uh, I've only got around to creating one so far it's not that home offices are super important it's just that I've only had time to create one worksheet so far um, so for most of the purchases you just go into this other purchases worksheet um, click new transaction um, you can leave it as a purchase invoice or change it to cash payment choose the date again it's all pretty much the same but we're just entering a, um, a purchase
it's calculating GST automatically because the default tax code is GST taxable purchase. You've got to be careful about that. Um, you can put a line comment or you could actually just leave it blank and hit save. If we go back to the purchases worksheet, we can see that transaction is listed. Um, and we can go back to the menu and if we go to the income and expenditure report uh, which defaults to the full year we can see those uh, am amounts are flowing through um, I'll do another video on the on these reports but um, the main column that you want to look at is this net column um, the software does give you a gross which includes the GST uh, and the tax amounts um, most accounting software will just give you the net column but I think this gross and the tax amounts are actually quite useful so anyway I'm um, um, covering too much and I want to keep these videos um, very specific so um, that's all there is to entering uh, basic transactions in free accounting software and I hope this video has been useful and thanks for watching.